Welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing something kind of we're getting towards the end of all of our iron testing at 80 miles an hour anyway and we have got four what we're calling kind of outliers clubs that you've called for but ironically <laughs> yeah, they all kind of, kind of fit together. They do actually it's surprising you know you, you pull these and I was actually putting together the numbers and stuff and I'm like this is a weird mix you know usually it's you know strong clubs or players clubs and I didn't know quite what this was but when I look down on the ground they look very very similar yeah. so I'm kind of surprised. Yeah. Well let's run through what we got. <laughs> Callaway Elite we got plenty of calls for that. We've got the Mizuno JPX 925 forged. So you, those two don't seem to sit in the same category. Right. Then you go Shrixen ZXI5. You think, all right, well, that kind of ties them together a little bit. Yeah. And then we've got the Cobra King Tech, and that's been one that people have called for a lot. So. Yeah, it's a good golf club too, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do kind of our standard test that we've been doing, and we're going to go more around forgiveness because this these are sneaking out of the players club category. Yeah, I mean, the ZX5, you get a lot of good players, and even the JPX as well. Um, you know, I don't know. But there, well, there is almost yeah. two categories. I think what you just right. said, that's fair. Elite and Cobra kind of sitting in yeah, competitors, exactly. and then Shrixon and Forged uh, right. Mizuno are sitting together. Yep, absolutely. So uh, we've got some loft differences. Let's, let's just get yep. that out early. We've got the strongest loft being in the uh, Callaway at 29, then King Tech at 29 and a half, Mizuno at 30, and then the Shrixon at 31, all for the seven iron. We'll jump into the 3D scan data. We're gonna start with 70 mile an hour test, then we're gonna go to the verified 80 mile an hour test plus the dispersion chart. The dispersion right. chart probably shows up the most information in this test that we've seen for a while. Yeah, it is, definitely different. Okay. All right, well, let's kick things off. We're gonna do the Elite at 70 miles an hour to start. Let's go. All right. All right. This is always interesting for me. I, I like 100 miles an hour and full speed is like a, that's incredible, like at right. 70 miles an hour. Um, and then obviously spin and land angle, everyone kind of hones in on that. 4,200 RPMs and 39 degree land angle. So not, not bad. Right. Okay, well, let's jump in. Next on the list is the Mizuno. We'd expect to see, we've got a whole degree more loft. So maybe we're gonna see a little more spin. Three to four yards, should be, yeah. All right. Oh, we did. A decent amount of RPMs there. Yeah, definitely a little more. No trade-off for ball speed, even though there's more loft, so more friction. Right. And then land angle, we got up a little, nearly 40 degrees there, basically 40 degrees. And that's what we were expecting from that. We said at right. the beginning there's kind of two different sets of clubs. We've yeah. gone strong and then weak, and now we're going to go even weaker with right. the ZXI5. Let's see what that thing does. Wow, ball yeah. speed 97 down to 94. RPMs, nearly 5,000. Quite a bit more. Yeah. But you lost a lot of speed. And, and you know, it's not an entirely fair test. I mean, certainly the, the Srixon is a solid forge club. There's no springy face in there. There's no no added kind of distance from the, from the face at all. So, right. And that's the only one that came on the crew. Probably the JPX, too, is similar. Yeah, they, right. they're similar. They're both forged. We've got a yeah. cavity cut through in there. Then we've got 41 degree land angle, but we're nearly a whole club less, and even yep. though it's only two degrees. So it's interesting. Oh. But we, what you lose in distance, you gain in control with that. And you flight. definitely gain in stopping power. Yeah. I mean, the spin is quite a bit more and the land angle is way better. Okay, last on the list, and we think this is gonna be more competitive with the Elite, I guess it's gonna be this King Tech Cobra. Yeah, that should be closer. Oh, nice, 97 mile an hour again. So we're gonna see little, that little distance lower. catch up. 38.6 degree land angle, so a little shallow, two yards less. So there's some interesting stuff here. Yeah, we, kind of lines up with the lofts for the yeah. most part. So we got the most carry out of the Callaway and the Mizuno. So actually the Mizuno's a little bit of a standout for distance yeah, it is. there. Because right. uh, with the weaker loft, it does a good job. Then the Shrixon looks like control, and then the King Tech's actually a blend of both. Let's have a look at them on the table together and see what right. we get. Club speed's all pretty good, within 0.34 miles of an hour. Right. Uh, launch angle. Ball speed, you can definitely see the, the Strixon drops off quite a bit, the ball right. speed, for two reasons, the loft and the hard face, right? True. Uh, RPMs, though, you do get your bank You do get 40, way, quite a bit more spin. Eight. So we're looking at 600 RPMs between the Elite and the Which is Shrixon. a fair amount, especially yeah. with it coupled with the land angle, right? right? And we see so much success, and the world's seen so much success with tricks on this year. I wonder if that's a nod to people saying, all right, I want some control. Because yeah, like, yeah, it really maybe. doesn't say yeah. they want distance if you look at these competitors. Yeah, it's certainly not the longest by far, but um, you know, it's got this different sole. So that obviously attracts a lot of people. 
Uh, and it definitely spins a bunch more. And then if we're talking about, you know, the old forged versus cast story, right. we know the Elite's cast, fine, whatever. Yep. We've got a Mizuno literally forged is in the name. The Shrixon yeah. we know is forged. The Cobra King tech is forged, but we know that some players call these things forged and it's a forged face forged or a forged face. body. Right, and it's right. not the whole thing, isn't Which is Which is a different deal entirely, right? So a forged face is designed to you know forge it thinner so you get more spring effect and a bunch of things, right? Yeah. So it's really just geared for distance. And, you know, a forged club, as you think about it normally, is you know forged to be a solid block, you know, so yep. more control. So it's a little... Cheating there. It's a little but, cheating, yeah, but, but everyone does it. Right, absolutely. <laughs> and it's still a good golf club. Yep. All right. So what you touched on it with the sole design. Let's dive into this 3D scan data okay. and I'll talk about that part. the bottom pieces. So right. we, like I said, we threw these together. Generally speaking, we've been putting stuff together because the loft's in the right or similar categories. Right. And then we've also seen the fitters say, yeah, all of those will be put together. Or someone said to me, these, I want to compare these. So right. like, we've just been responding to you. This one is more like the mix match. That being said, top lines are all very, very similar within 0.01 of yeah, an Yeah, like I said, I looked them down the ground and other than the finish, very similar shape. And you know, you can obviously see, I could see the offset in the Callaway. Definitely yes. got more offset. Yep. But the other than that, you know, the finish was the biggest difference. I could then from the top. And that was a shocker with the offset for me. I would have expected, I would have put, you know, Elite and Cobra X in the same category. But realistically, the Cobra and the Mizuno had the lowest offset, right. and the Shrixon and the Callaway had the, the highest offset, and they're both similar to each yeah, other. I suppose the Shrixon category. was that high. But right. yeah, you know, it's not really high. And, and certainly we don't see you know super high until you get into the super game improvement anymore. You used right. to, right? Um, so but it's surprising to see the, the trick songs being you know, one of the higher ones. Yep. And then we've got the footprint. Now the footprint here, we talked about this off yeah, camera, this it's hard is... to describe. <laughs> yeah. We've got the Shrixon, which everyone knows about this sole. Sorry, it's right. the, the, that one there. Yeah. Shrixon, yep. Which is very pronounced in this one, even more so than the than the seven, the smaller one. And the heel and the toe have knocked out. And the out. heel and toe are real relief, so that's shorter, you know, as far as how it gets in the ground. And we still classified that as like 1140 footprint, which is the highest of the batch outside of the King Cobra, which is a completely right. different design. Yep, absolutely. It's kind of a smooth, traditional, you know, a little bit rounded. Um, but you know, not, nothing strange. And then you talked about this in one of the other videos. So right. head back and check out the other videos with the comparing the soles. But the the Cobra goes with a wide sole and a lower bounce number. Yep. And the Shrixon goes with a variable sole. Right. And a higher bounce number. Right. Basically, it's a thinner sole because this back part's carved off. Gone. So you got higher bounce on a thinner sole. Yep. yep. And, and the Mizuno kind of is the, is the weird one out of this batch. Yeah, it is a little different, isn't it? Because it's uh, you know it's got quite a lot of relief on the toe, uh, you know, on the on the leading edge. Yep. Um, which you know that kind of takes that out of the sole part, really. Yep. Um, then it's actually got quite a bit of relief on the back. Um, you know, front to back, it's long. I mean, there's no carve off like the Shrixon stuff, but you know, it's carved in here and it's actually of a different shape. You don't very often see like a concave that shape. Real, that. that real aggressive right. leading edge. I mean, it's like the Shrixon has taken this to the extreme and right, you know, it's right. got a patent on that. So, yeah. and this is a good one and it's all about, obviously we're talking about footprint coming into the ground and landing kind of square, but then you've got people right. leaning this way. Right. In weird cases, you get people leaning this way. <laughs> and, and, and there's benefits yeah. and, and, and trade-offs for all these sole designs. So the Cobra might be someone coming in really steep, got lots of surface yeah. area, but not too steep a bounce. Uh, keep in mind too, you know, and you know, you gotta you always remember this, you can change the lofts on the clubs. Right. And that changes the bounce. bounce. So, you know, you might want to change, you know, lofts for the bounce, which a lot of tour players do. That's why the new T150 is actually a degree stronger than last year, so they can weaken them. Yeah. Um, but you have to kind of keep that in mind, because as you do change the loft, you change those bounce characteristics. Exactly that. And, but and that then, might be beneficial. Exactly. Right? All right, you, you can use these to your benefit. And this is why this group is a bit of a mixed match, because the Shrixon's already got more bounce and more loft right. on it already. Going into the, the blade length, I think that's kind of interesting. The Shrixon has got a couple of millimeter longer blade length than, than everyone. Really? Um, and they I do all see look that. pretty similar. When yeah, I, I didn't look for that, actually. Yeah. When I look down at a Shrixon, I always think, not that it puts me off too bad, because I love the Shrixon product. It's fairly long heel. Yeah, I huh? always look at that, little, and I'm thinking, I, not so much the seven, but the five, because it looks a little chunkier. But that can be like a really confidence yeah, inspiring thing. It's, it's, not. it's two two millimeters yeah. from the smallest to the biggest, really. So it's not an ass ass, but it's small. Yeah, yeah it's pretty small. <laughs> yeah. you, you kind of see those things, I guess, yeah. once you get into it. Absolutely. So a pretty interesting data there. We're going to save the dispersion stuff till last. Don't forget, to jump in those comments. We finally got to some of these clubs you've been asking right. for. Let us know what you think. Remember, we tested the Shrix on stuff prior to use this um, consistent test we've been using. Right, we're on a different test. So you right. can't compare the test no. data here, but we're going to jump into the 80 mile an hour shot test 
I'm gonna run over a few of the numbers, but basically, remember those lofts that we said back at the beginning, Shrixon the highest, Elite the lowest. Shrixon gave us 94 feet of peak height and 157 carry. This is just from the center hit at 80 miles an hour. But yeah. then if you go down to everyone else, everyone else is at 165, so we've got eight yards difference, but only really two degrees difference in loft. So what we're seeing yeah, that's from interesting, isn't it? Yeah. the Shrixon's doing something crazy from the center. It's it's launching more than it should for the loft change. Yeah, and, and it's not a huge bunch of tungsten or anything. I mean, there is a little bit in there, but nothing crazy that's making it launch higher. But you have a theory, and when we get into this dispersion data on the bounce and sole design versus what we're seeing maybe from center hits and low hits. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, basically what I'm I'm, I'm kind of looking at is, you know, because we what we do with measure of the center. Right, is we basically put it on the ground and, and put it at 90 degrees and, and measure how far the ball would hit up, and that's the center spot. Well, if you get these things with more bounce, you know, obviously the whole thing's sitting higher, so we're actually testing a little lower. Um, but to be consistent, we need to do that way, right? Um, so what you happen is the low one now is really low and drops off a lot more. Right. If you're using the bounce correctly and you've got it into the ground and you got fit correctly for the bounce, it's not such a big deal. It won't hurt you so right. much in the exactly. real world. So and the other call outs I want to make, Shrix on with the most loft gets most launch, most spin, most stopping power, but eight yards shorter than everyone else. And then I think the other standout for me really is the um, Mizuno obviously does kind of what it says on Tim, but the Cobra. The Cobra does a great job for launch and spin and stopping power at that distance. And then we're only talking 100 RPMs between the elite. So I think it boils down to what we've been seeing with all these other tests, right? Yeah. We've got those crazy different sole designs, footprints, offsets, differences here. We then start to look at the ball flight and say, well, outside of the Shrixon, being a real spin control launch right. player, these other three, pretty close, doing the same thing. And yeah. if you're looking at like a weak lofted club that goes a long way, that Mizuno. Yeah, it goes longer than you would think for the for the loft, right? for sure. And now I'll touch on leading to what you just saying with the bounce, and you've got the dispersion graph, and you've got some drop off data up here. Yeah, yeah, I, I kind of looked at uh, just to see what, you know how far these things go, and also how much they roll, right? I mean, that's you know, we look at talk about land angle, and we talk about you know backspin and stuff, but at the end of the day, we want to see how far it rolls. Now, foresight, you know, kind of measures roll, however they measure it, you know, but at least it's apples to apples, right? Yep. It's not necessarily a green, it's not a fast, first firm green, it's not a soft green, you know, all that thing changes it. Um, but if you look at the difference, you know, the two longest clubs by far are the Callaway and the Cobra. Uh, although the Shrixon, the uh, Mizuno's only a couple of yards shorter. Right. Um, and both of them, you know, both the Callaway went 179 and 178.6. So this is kind of almost exactly the same. Yeah. Both rolled 13.7 yards, 13.5 five yards. That's so, fine. you know, basically got the same, right? Yeah. Um, but obviously the, the Shrixon went only 169, so 10 yards shorter at 80 miles an hour is quite a bit. The Mizuno didn't actually stop quite as quickly as the other two, which yeah. is surprising. It's well, spin, gotta be spin, right? Yeah, well, it wasn't bad, it was 4,900. Yeah. Anyway. And then you've got the dispersion data there. Yeah, this is kind of telling too. Like I said, mentioned just, re, you know, just a minute ago, um, because these soles are somewhat wider and have more bounce, you know, we're actually measuring a little lower on the face as far as how many grooves up you would be. Um, so you kind of see the low shot on these is, you know, worse relative to a lot of the blades and the stuff that's got, you know, tighter to the ground, um, which is not that big a deal, right? Because if you are fit correctly with this and you're using the bounce, the club is in the ground and getting to the right point of the ball. So yeah. I'm not so concerned about that, but you definitely see some differences. They're, they're all pretty good all around. Um, the one spot that the low center is out kind of stand out. And the Strixon wasn't as good I mean, off the toe. Toe, right? Where, where yeah. The Strixon lost it from the toe, but it beat everyone else in the low Everything, Yeah, exactly. So interesting. I mean, that's when we're talking about the nuances between these clubs. If you're thinning it, go Shrixon, and you're gonna get more control, more spin, more distance from that shot. Yep. If you're hitting it in the toe, all the others are offering you a bit more protection from that miss here. Yep. And for guys like you. Yeah, Shrixon on the toe is not good for me. Not good. Yeah, I hit right. there a lot, but I also hit it thin. So actually that gives me really the Shrixon. <laughs> kind of, that's better for the spin. That's all, who knows? Yeah, <laughs> somewhere in between yeah, all somewhere of that. In between. Well, hopefully we hit the mark there for you with these four clubs. We have had a call out for Cobra 3D. So if we can find another category before we wrap up irons, and we yeah, saw some great tests. I don't know what you put that in. I play that club too. I right. Yeah. Well, there you go. We've got plenty more to come. When we're done with irons, we're going to move into drivers. We've got fairways. We've got hybrids. We've got driving irons. We've got wedges. So the train's not stopping. And by no. that time, 2026 rolls around. We're seeing all new product. And we're going to elevate our game for you. We're going to give you the best content on the internet to find out which product's going to work for you next year and beyond. Get in the comments. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Come back and see Mark and I for the trusted source of golf content.